Hi children, we are in magnetic effects of current chapter and this is video number 22. So in this video, we are going to discuss the magnetic field due to a long current solenoid using ampere circuit law. Actually, the derivation for field due to a solenoid has been discussed in the previous videos by me, but by using byte savert's law. So by using byte savert's law we have derived today we are going to use ampere circuit law to obtain the expression for the magnetic field first of all there are some assumptions assumptions we have to take first what are the assumptions suppose this is a long solenoid i am taking this cross sectional view of the long solenoid like this in this plane whatever we consider they are all valid for infinitely long solenoid and closely wound solenoid the windings must be very close to each other tightly wound solenoid that's very important so here I draw another line so that you will understand the direction of current like this. You all know the shape of the solenoid. Solenoid will be like this. You refer previous videos, you will understand. This is the axis of the solenoid. Axis of the solenoid. We are going to find field inside the solenoid. First of all, let small n be the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid. Small n be the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid. Number two, solenoid is assumed to be very long, assumed to be infinitely long and closely wound, very closely wound or tightly wound. Then inside the solenoid the magnetic field is assumed to be almost uniform assumed to be almost uniform number four outside the solenoid the magnetic field is assumed to be negligible, not zero, it is assumed to be negligible. Unless we take or we accept, we grant these assumptions, there is no point in doing this derivation, assumed to be negligible. So you consider a solenoid like this. In this, the current is flowing into here and coming out here, like this. That means, through these sections, the current is going into and it is coming out to out out these sections. Why I have taken, why not ULTA? You can take ULTA also. In a reverse sense also you can take. In that case, along the axis, the magnetic field direction of magnetic field is to be taken towards left we have to take towards left so here we have to take the magnetic field along the axis towards right towards the right of the reader for that the current should be flowing into this side and coming like this and i told you that inside the solenoid inside the solenoid the field is assumed to be uniform everywhere you take the field is assumed to be uniform right in this, we consider one small 
amperian loop i am drawing this small amperian loop with a red pen this is your amperian loop this amperian loop is having a length small l what is the length l is the length of the amperian loop this totally solenoid i am considering here because part of the amperian loop is inside the solenoid part is outside the solenoid the amperian loop is taken to be a b c d a b c d while calculating the line integral in ampere circuit la you have to traverse the loop along this path a to b b to c c to d d to a like this so what is the length of the amperian loop which is inside the solenoid l next what is the what is the number of turns per unit length small n for unit length the number of turns equal to small n then over this length how many turns will be there n into l how many turns n into l what is the current through each turn i then in this length the total number of turns will be n into l the current will be n into l into i which will be discussed later so as i told you as per these assumptions outside it is negligible field is negligible while calculating we go for ampere circuit law in detail then you will understand so first we start applying ampere circuit law along the loop a to b to c to d to a again again you will come back to a i am splitting this closed path as one one contour each contour from here to here a part of the amperian loop i'll calculate we know that here the field is uniform and is along the axis so if i take if i calculate the line integral first part calculation of line integral from a to b when it is line integral don't put circle in the integration circle in the integration shows that it is a closed integral of course you are traversing along the line only if the line is a closed loop then you have to put circle here whether it is a square loop or circular loop or any kind of loop the integration circle it, it is going to be a circle now i am calculating the line integral part by part first i am calculating from a to b okay a to b b bar dot dl bar okay what is b bar this is b bar dl bar is this dl bar means what is the length between a and b that is bl dl bar this is coming to be b into l because b bar and l bar are parallel theta is 0 cos 0 equal to 1 right so i get b into l number 2 second part line integral b to c while calculating line integral b to c i'll get zero why i get zero i'll tell you while traversing along the line b to c if you see up to here up to the solenoid we have magnetic field but magnetic field is in this direction along the axis and your line element is perpendicular to it so that b bar dot dl bar becomes zero till here and beyond this up to c there is no field at all here b is zero that means the portion of this b to c segment which is inside the solenoid for that b bar is perpendicular to dl bar so that line integral becomes zero again for the portion outside the solenoid as magnetic field is zero again the line integral is going to be zero totally the line the line integral becomes zero next c to d b bar dot dl bar what is c to d outside the solenoid outside field is zero and outside field is zero there is no point in calculating your b bar dot dl bar that is zero understood number 4 t to a 
just like b to c d to a also the line integral becomes zero because partly it is inside the solenoid partly it is outside the solenoid for for part which is inside the solenoid b bar is perpendicular to dl bar for the part outside the solenoid b bar is zero okay now if you to if you take the sum of these four you will get the line integral closed line integral for the amperian loop now we go for that let us say therefore the the closed integral b bar dot dl bar for the loop a b c d a which is split like b bar dot dl bar a to b plus b b to c integral b bar dot dl bar plus c to d b bar dot dl bar plus d to a integral b bar dot dl bar except the first one rest rest 3 are all zero line integrals are zero this is going to be b into l so line line integral closed integral b bar dot dl bar over the amperian loop i am getting it as b into l now according to ampere circuit law the line integral b bar dot dl bar closed integral is equal to mu not into i n closed okay what is the current through each turn what is the current through each turn current through each turn equal to i next number of turns per unit length number of turns per unit length how much it is small n what is the length of the amperian loop considered l therefore number of turns in length l will be equal to n into l therefore total current enclosed are threading by the amperian loop how much it is n into i enclosed which is equal to total number of turns into current through each turn n into l into i the line integral closed integral b bar dot dl bar is obtained already which is kept ready which is equal to b into l okay b into l is equal to mu not into i enclosed i enclosed equal to n into l into i n into l into i you can cancel l l so you will get b equal to mu not into n i this is the expression for field due to a long current solenoid using ampere circuit law i hope it is understood thank you very much